bitch is about to go down. Like, I'm ready for this. I'm more excited about the reunion than the motherfucking show. Because on the show, these bitches get you pretty pad, thick like they like each other. Bitch, on the reunion, these hoes is gonna fight for real. And I cannot fucking wait. Uh -huh, bitch, try again. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? So, y'all see how I love Pony Pony going, you know. Big ass bitch. I'm about to get this situation together. I know bitches was like, bitch, your bed never made up. Man, motherfucker business for one. For two, bitch, I have to get a new bed set and like redecorate. It will look a lot cuter up in here in a, you know, due time. What's going on, this thing, gang? This is me back in the motherfucking video, bitch. I came and just hopped up and made this video because I seen what was going on. I seen the tea that was being spilled. Basically, bitches, um, scream recording phone calls. One thing about it, I'm gonna say this before we even start this video. If a bitch is recording your phone calls before y'all even get into it, to wait to have it so when y'all get into it, y'all can like, they can leak it. That's a, a little snake ass bitch. I'm sorry, Sarah. This was the snakiest thing I ever seen you ever do, and I'm living for it because it's really messy. It's probably gonna get Natalie ass beat. That's what we all waiting on. So hey, do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna sit this motherfucking shit right here. We're gonna sit together and listen to these recordings. I don't know what was said. I literally saw the motherfucker screenshot. Oh my gosh. Natalie Dunn just saw Judy. Yeah, no, right, right now I'm talking about you. you I don't give a fuck about her. With the fucking weird we're not talking about that right now. We're talking yes, about. We are. No, we're not. We're talking about why are you posting the? Sh I'm texting you, my like for real. Like at the end of the day, I don't. Yeah, because hold it's on. Me. No, time out. I would have never did that if you didn't. Time out. You just me. walked up. No, hold on. Yes, Bitch. the fuck. Good, because that's what all. No, it's it's none of this funny. <sighs> Judy, like, Judy, funny, but it's she not. played too much. I'm gonna just be honest with you. Because at the end of the day, when you was in jail a week ago, here, here, where, where are you at, Anthony? No, Come here. Hold on, time out. No, stop talking. Anthony, jail, Anthony, 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 Anthony. What? Did I not? Did I not bail her out? Did I not? Yeah, no, no, Damn, no, 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 no. Fast, They yeah. wouldn't let me bail her out because she had a warrant out for her arrest. So at the end of the day, no, they wouldn't let. No, I just. Who the fuck was on the phone? And both of them. Wait, hold on. Who was on the phone? Who was on the phone? No, no, no. Calm down. No, who was on the phone? And Bitch, it's some shit going on. Girl. Girl. Okay, so let's let's read the motherfucking messages about why they got into a fight. So I guess this is between Natalie and Judy. She said the reunion is very extensive. Natalie say that Natalie that is not disrespecting the zoos. Then that's gonna say the caption calling Zeus show the saddies. Okay, what you say, Judy? I honestly don't care. What do you think I was on the show? Happy? Doesn't matter to me. Do you, girl? Have me in a room with a weirdo on on a couch. Sarah ain't even coming. Be thankful I am. Relax. Ooh, ooh. So all she got mad about Judy calling the show sadie instead of baddie and then one thing i don't like is an ungrateful ass people stay your ass at home there is one million bad girls to choose from in this entire industry best believe we will excuse all the options we will exercise i'm sorry y'all i'm not dumb i could bitch i could spill stop helping me ho exercise all the options because the amount of calls coming in is crazy it's just some whole other tea we didn't even fucking know about bitch judy called it the saddies and i guess she got mad yeah, of course sydney gonna comment because she said had me in the room with a weirdo bitch so Sydney commented and said, let's see how much a weirdo I am when I see you, sis. And then, says, then Judy commented and reposted and said, I dare a person to touch me. I have a family, my guy, cousins, uncles, and brothers, etc. that will rock her shit on God. <laughs> like, what's going on? This motherfucker really is going to be some tease, this bitch. Judy finna have her goons in the audience. Sydney trying to run up on her when she knows she transgender. Didn't I tell y'all in the motherfucker reveal that somebody was going to fight Sydney? Then I say, somebody's going to fight Sydney because it's gaggy and they need that gagginess for the TV. Television show has a transgender and a regular, you know, cisgender girl fall before. And now, bitch is about to go down. Like, I'm ready for this. I'm more excited about the reunion than the motherfucker show. Because on the show, these bitches get you pretty pad, thick like they like each other. Bitch, on the reunion, these hoes is gonna fight for real and i cannot fucking wait so then we got janelle oh janelle okay so apparently christina did some questions and but she revealed that her distaste for me is far greater than hers for natalie and that she would more likely come for me Ooh. than she would for natalie and i saw everybody was confused in the love comments but the reason why i oh hold on hold wasn't on. confused was because everybody knows that Christina is only known for fighting. And so, therefore, she would rather come for me, the easy target, than square up with a girl. 
girl that she claims has bullied her and all this stuff because her versus Natalie, like, if she doesn't win that, then her entire, like, fan base, well, everything that matters to her will basically be on the Oh. Like, I would never even come out my mouth and tell somebody that needs her or anything because we're not, like, I made comments on episode one that she did it, like, oh, well, like, why is it going on? Since then, this is she, she made a comment, like, oh, whatever surgery she is, like, she has, I don't want it. She made a song about me. She's talked about, like, how I'm not in the show. She's, like, copied other people's texts that, who got sued for those texts? So it's just, like, she's done a lot to try to, like, like make me as angry as she is and I don't get mad no one can ever hurt my feelings with a lot but also I think she's just so triggered because I know the truth anytime people come for me yeah I'm gonna say the truth like that's just what it is like you're never gonna see me talk about her on other episodes because I was never a big friend like I don't know what advice she's getting but she might need to I'm coming to the reunion to be a bitch, promote my luxury big line. I'm gonna be draped in luxurious fabrics and jewels. I won't even be able to move. Like the, the, my dress is like, you know, I'm that stuff keep it really tight. Shout out to Corn Boy. So yeah, like it's just never going to be a situation where it's like, yeah, you know, I don't like you and I don't like what you said. Swear up. It's like, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna sit pretty. Like if you charge at me. And that's another thing, but like it's never going to be what she thinks it's going to be. Bitch, so okay. now Christina and, and Janelle don't like each other out of no motherfucker where I kind of knew that was going to happen because Janelle was not lying, bitch. Because if she was supposed to fight anybody, she was supposed to fight Natalie. And when y'all see what happened the first time she fought Natalie, Natalie got an independent ass. So now she's trying to talk to Janelle because she knows Janelle is not going to fight like that. And she feel like that would be a better fight for her. I, for one, am really living for Janelle. I don't know if I'm the only one, but her new, like take on herself and how she just be sitting like a bad ass bitch i mean she was very much so sitting in the show too which is bitches didn't fuck with her because she was just like you know flip her hair and shit whatever and them was just some hating ass hoes but i really like janelle now like i really didn't like her on back of club but like this bitch is really a servant she said my bitch i'm i'm going on the show to put on my wig line put on my pretty ass dress and bitch i'm coming to look cute like you trying to fight me to get your motherfucking name up bitch fight the bitch that you claim has been bullying you and i feel like yeah right if she was gonna fight anybody on the reunion show for the show how it was looking, bitch, she should run up on Natalie because, bitch, Natalie got up all in your face twice, bitch, bitch. Not only came in your room, got in your face, but then got in your room and y'all tried to have a little conversation. This bitch stood up and got in your face again. And you didn't fight her, but I didn't want to fight Janelle with Janelle ain't did shit to you. So, yeah, no about Christina, I'm not living. Ooh, pick up Christina. I wouldn't talk to Janelle personally, but I'm in the class and I think she's not right with me. Did you not get a first class ticket? Oh my gosh. She said Janelle on the same plane because she's not in first class. I'd argue with Janelle, but like she's probably in 28F, and I'm not about to go back there to argue her. <laughs> not that on the same Actually, plane. I think Natalie's probably really like in 29D. Janelle, you are not an easy target. You're not even a target. You're trying to make yourself a target. You're trying to make yourself relevant. Now, ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck, and good you're not. evening and welcome aboard. My name is Doug Under Camp, and this evening, on behalf of myself and my first go. officer, Mark. Bitch. I'm not about to go to a reunion to scream and argue with girls who want to make up lies, especially Natalie Nunn, the biggest liar of them all. For somebody to be so booked and busy as Natalie claims, why is she blowing up my phone? I mean, countless text messages, messages in DM, harassing me, saying, Sarah, if you don't this and that, like, I'm gonna tell people you're racist, I'm gonna have you canceled, I'm gonna have the whole culture cancel you. And I'm like, my life speaks for itself. Like, if people are like, hello, the majority of my friends are black. Half my family is. I'm on an all black network with an odd cast. So, for me to, Guys, it's just nonsense. I'm saying I can't argue with her. She has all the time in the world to go back and forth every day, and I am not okay with it, nor am I going to argue with Natalie Nunn every single damn day. And it's not because I'm scared of her. I just don't have the energy or the patience. I'm not going to... Nah, bitch, you scared. I don't go for what that bitch said. Sarah, how you going to get on the show? the whole motherfucking reunion and not come. This is the first one you ever punked out on. And it's because, I feel like it's because your new energy that you have. Like the old Sarah, she would never 
punked out on never, any motherfucking like the old stepper would have been like ready to argue with any bitch ready to do her little shit like i know you growing as a woman but bitch this is just like are you hoes scared of Natalie? Like, like, let's be for real. It's all you hoes scared of Natalie. Like, let's let's just talk about it for real, for real. Because now I'm getting more and more vibes of bitches just ducking this bitch. Like, I know she fit. I know she do all this. I know she got a little bigger than you hoes. But, bitch, I am never going to duck no bitch that's just been talking hella motherfucking shit. Like, if this bitch all in the motherfucking yo message telling me she going to have bitches cancel you. Going to have people call you racist and shit like that. You just going to let this bitch do that shit to you? Like, yeah, she has a bigger platform than you. So, regardless if you say, oh, I don't care. My shit speak for itself. Sarah, it doesn't really. Like, I understand you got black family members. But, bitch, when you posted your black family members, all they said was, can you tag me? They didn't say, oh, my God, this my this my sister. I love her. They said... Follow me, y'all. Attack me, bitch. They trying to get clout up off you. Like, is y'all relationship really that close? Like, is you really, like, pro-black as you seem? Like, you might take black dick, but taking black dick and not being racist is two different things. We seen how your motherfucking mama and your daddy look. Come on now. Y'all remember several um, fucking cats and take from back in the day. Her motherfucking daddy look like motherfucking Rolling Stones or whatever the fuck he looked like. One of them backwood come bumble fucks. Like, he be fucking fucking tractors and shit and playing in the mud, baby. So, we know where you come from. I'm not saying you gotta come for money to have money, but I, I seen, bitch, your family was definitely well off. And well off white people that look like that, bitch, they are not the kin of black people, baby. I went to school in Macomb, I know. The ones that look exactly how they do, they do with their long ass hair and them fucking, them, them fucking Trump supporter ass glasses that, that, that block out your shit like, girl. They, they they don't be for the black people. They don't live for black people at all. Give me Karen vibes is I'm not liking it at all. Like I know a lot of people is mad in the comments about well, oh you being too hard on Sarah. This is that but Sarah is, is a whole different bitch. Sarah is a grown white woman in America. Please do not forget, like bitches could grow up and realize they privilege and act a whole different way. And back in the day she might have got along with all the black bitches when she was growing up her younger days, but bitch, this is twenty twenty one. Okay, I'm grown. She's grown. Bitch, we're grown now. Like she has to pick her circle very, very wisely and pick who the fuck she fucks with very wisely. And she decides to come on the show and kick with the bitch that she kicked it with and say what the fuck she said. But now that when she goes to the reunion to see the bitch that she did all the little shit to and was talking about a little shit on motherfucking online, making all these videos, but now she don't want to go to the reunion. It's, I don't think that's, that's giving me Karen. I don't know if it, hey, y'all might be upset because I'm calling her a Karen, but bitch, Sarah's giving me Karen vibes. And y'all know I never hold my tongue. I don't give a fuck. Okay, so now we're finna get to the audio recordings. Of the leaked tape that happened on the motherfucking show. Miss Natalie finna have it out for her. I'm seven needs to run up on her. Girl seven, that's your ticket. We know, we know the assignment and we know who is fit to take care of the job. We need Miss Natalie Nunn knocked off her pedestal. I'm sorry. This bitch is become a powerhouse. And I know the new girls is finna get on. Megan not finna do it because she got all that work done. So she not swinging on nobody. Jayla could be her ass. No bad. Jayla, you another bitch that could do the assignment, bitch. Come on. Seven. You got a reason to now, bitch, because she's talking about you, girl. She sees the reason just went and talked her shit. Janelle, girl, if you can run up, she gonna do your shit. No bad. I feel like, girl, you already just said you sitting pretty, bitch, just sit pretty. Natalie Nunn knows what she's doing. I don't even feel like this is real to a certain extent. I feel like, baby, they knew what they were doing with the leaking the tapes and hyping the show up. Like, I'm pretty sure, just like, low key, like, she, she, it could be, it could be real because. A lot of places did post it and I had to like dig to find it and I only found one because she did like three of them. 
I should have screen recorded that shit, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments what y'all gonna think about this reunion and what's gonna happen. I just think it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Definitely. I'm upset that Sarah not coming because Sarah, girl, you was a big part of the show and you did say you would EP like three thousand times. How can you be an EP of a project and did not come for the ending or like the final thing? They had a video of everybody on Zeus who was a part of it, like drinking and toasting and shit like that. And it's just like. I don't know, you just give me punk vibes. I don't like that. Like, I really fuck with you and I fuck with, you know, how you was in your season, how you was on All Star Battle. You, know, you almost won All Star Battle. Like, bitch, I was rooting for you and everything. And it's just like, girl, you punking out on the show that you signed up for. Like, what the fuck? Next thing I'm gonna video, hope I enjoyed it, y'all. Let me know in the comments what y'all feel about the junior. Do y'all think Sarah is scary? Do y'all think Janelle is scary? Like, let me know. Is Christina just getting on Janelle's case just because she want to be her ass? Or is Christina actually mad at Janelle for talking shit? Because Janelle, girl, you was talking a lot of shit when the whole drug situation came about so if she beat your ass i don't know so follow my social media my facebook my instagram my snapchat my link tree will be down below for you to follow me everywhere my album is out now make sure y'all stream it that's it motherfucker video and same gang since we out